Oh, uh, listen, take notes. This is going to be a good interview here. We've got Brad Steine here with us with the Spartanburg Public Library. And we're going to go back uh, and talk about the th things I grew up with. We'll have a lady coming on uh, with a virtual uh, lecture, Leslie Goddard. And this is going to be December 21st. It's all about mid-century uh, fun things, toys and so, so forth and so on. Tell us about that, Brad. That's right. That's one of our virtual lectures that comes in the Chautauqua series. Um, you can register for this uh, to uh, view it live. That'll be uh, on December the 21st, Thursday um, at 7 p.m. Um, it's also going to be on our YouTube channel for the uh, two weeks following that. So if you're not able to make it at that time and you just want to log onto YouTube and uh, look at the library's channel, uh, you'll be able to see that presentation. But it's all about the mid-century uh, toys and traditions and uh, decorations that, that characterized Christmas in that, in that period. Aluminum Christmas trees, a lot of folks know or have seen. Um, yep. And Had we've one. got one on display here in the Kennedy room. If you uh, happen to come up uh, over the next few weeks, you'll get to see yeah. it. With that turning uh, color wheel, it changed it, colors, the whole tree from four different colors. I remember. Yes. That. In fact, when we set that up, I was real nervous that the bulb was going to get so hot because I remember seeing one of these years ago with an incandescent bulb in it. And that element got so hot on that thing. I was worried it was going to catch fire, but this one's fine. It's, it's yeah. a well, our house didn't burn down, but it, it looked mighty good from the street. I mean, you're going to talk about easy bake oven, GI Joe, slinky, all those fun things in the sixties that we grew up with, but she's That's going to talk about everything from a uh, post-World War II through about 1970, right? That's right. Now, if we want to see this live, do we go to SpartanburgLibraries.org? That's right. You can go to our website and, and log on to the calendar page and see the event that, that's posted for that. Or you can mm -hmm. give us a call and we'll be happy to register you over the phone. Very nice. Now, uh, something coming up in January the, on the 4th. What's that all about? That's right. So we've got a mid-century theme going on this, this holiday season and for the Kennedy Room. And uh, so in line with that, there's a presentation that I'll be giving on January the 4th, also at 7 p.m. Um, this one's a live and in-person, so you, you get to ask questions in real time if you're there. Um, but it's all about mid-century architecture in Spartanburg and just sort of how mid-century architecture evolved as a style and mm -hmm. great examples of it uh, in public spaces and in retail spaces and in, in private homes all through Spartanburg. Well, that's an interesting style. It got kind of modernistic in the 50s, didn't it? I mean... That's right. Yeah, they were going for just a new aesthetic. They were breaking from oh. a lot of traditions, trying to envision a new future. They oversimplified a lot of things. And, and of course, that, that's about the time that uh, Rob Petrich uh, fell over the Ottoman every time on the Dick Van Dyke show. That was kind of stylistic <laughs> back then, the Ottomans. Jack, do you remember the old Sears building across the Memorial Auditorium with the big stone sure. swoop thing in the front? Yeah, yeah, that was that was one of the very first shopping centers in Spartanburg. And it was kind of, they called it Sears Town. It was like a, the idea was yeah. it was its own little town outside of Spartanburg. Right. That's where we took the kids to see Santa <laughs> back in the 70s. <laughs> I do remember. So, and this is uh, January 4, 7 o'clock. It's going to be your personal lecture. A topic that I have long been fascinated with are all the different plans and proposals that were uh, for Spartanburg that never mm -hmm. actually happened. So there's, there's plenty of them. <laughs> and that's true for anywhere. But <laughs> in Spartanburg's case, there were some real big visions that, that were, uh, would have been transformative. Uh, and it's all through eras of time, like the Spartanburg was originally thought to be uh, the downtown of Spartanburg was going to be built somewhere else entirely in the county. Uh, there were going to be different counties that split off from Spartanburg. Those were proposals over time. Uh, yeah. We've there was a, a going to be a black college that would have been relocated to Spartanburg in 1910. Uh, there's the people talk about how the Talladega racetrack should have been built in Spartanburg. That's that's one of the panels that I've got. Uh, well, a NASCAR museum. You know, they were going to bring a NASCAR museum as Spartanburg, too. That's right. Yep. So uh, it's lots of examples and visuals of, of things that, that could have been. Yeah. I, I like to think, uh, so what actually did happen in history is sort of like the positive space. You, you see the concrete reality of it. But this is like the negative space. It's all the background that also tells the motivations and interests of the people in the past. But right. uh, it's it's something that is a little bit harder to, to see because it was never actually built. Yeah, but that's that's got to be interesting. Of course, now we know what's coming—a big ballpark and a, that's a, right. Surgeons yeah. of downtown Spartanburg. That's all going to happen. Uh -huh. And of course, uh, you know, I can remember. And I can't remember personally, but they took part of Spartanburg County and Union County to make Cherokee County. Did you that's know that? True. 
Yeah, that was the, the one uh, county secession proposal that actually did take place. But yeah. uh, Woodruff tried to secede a few times. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> there, uh, Greer was going to try to unify either in a new county entirely or be part of Greenville. So there's, well, there's all, that. all kinds of proposals from the 1870s on. Yeah, and Spartanburg, Spartanburg City used to be bigger than Greenville City. That's another one. Right. Yeah. Very interesting. This is Brad Steinecke, Spartanburg Public Library. How many locations are there, Brad? Oh, we've got 10 branches throughout the whole county. So there's there's plenty of ways to access. That's online, too. So okay. uh, well, you can reach us however however meets your needs. Well, I see the books in the back. You still have books if you want to read books. Absolutely. All, all so the, the books CDs you can or <laughs> Music and CDs and movies, it's all there. Spartanburg uh, County Public Libraries. Thank you, Brad. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you, Jack. You too. Take care.